Congratulations on your decision to purchase the most revolutionary tire changing system in the industry today. The Coats 9024E Rim Clamp Tire Changer. The first name in quality for over 50 years. Your decision was a wise one in that the 9024 offers your tire business the finest in speed, versatility, accuracy, durability, and ease of use. It's much more than a tire changer. Its innovative design makes the 9024 the only tire changer on the scene today that can keep pace with an ever-changing industry and is easily adaptable to all your tire changing needs now and in the future. The Coates 9024E Rim Clamp Tire Changer is the latest evolution of the 90 Series Tire Changer. Built on the reliable and capable platform of the successful 9010E, the Coates 9024E offers several new features to help your shop efficiently and effectively service virtually any tire and wheel assembly. The Coates 9024E features an extended tabletop capable of clamping wheels externally from 12 to 24 inches in diameter and internally from 14 to 26 inches in diameter. A new cam operated bead loosener ensures contact with bigger, wider wheels at the proper angles, minimizing the risk of expensive wheel damage. In addition, the slide adjustment handle, vertical slide assembly, slide locking valve, and tilt tower stop have all been redesigned and reinforced to provide the added strength and stability necessary to service today's larger, heavier tire and wheel designs. And for easier and faster service, the Coates 9024E features a slide-out service module that puts all the critical valves and components at the service technician's fingertips. Proper use of the 9024 requires proper installation and setup, and our service partners are happy to provide their assistance to get you up and running. Coats, the industry standard in tire changer design and manufacturing with its rim clamp technology presents how to operate and maintain the Coats 9024E rim clamp tire changer. Use of this Coats tire changer will improve your productivity. Before attempting to operate this or any piece of equipment, always read the entire operator's manual. Pay special attention to the safety information in the manual and on the unit. Always wear eye protection. As with any piece of equipment, understanding how to properly operate and maintain your Coats rim clamp tire changer will make the job easier, safer, faster, and therefore more profitable. Maximum performance and safety will be obtained only when all persons using the tire changer are fully trained in its parts and operation. Each user should learn the function and location of all controls. Prevent accidents and injuries by ensuring the unit is properly installed, operated, and maintained. Tower. Support for horizontal and vertical slides. Air inflation gauge. Registers tire pressure when clip-on chuck is attached to valve stem and inflation pedal is released. Inflation pedal. Three position pedal that allows inflation of tires through air hose and clip-on chuck. Clamp control pedal. Three position pedal that opens and closes rim clamps. Tabletop pedal. Three position pedal that controls rotation of tabletop. Tower tilt pedal. Three position pedal that moves tower forward and back. Clamps. Secures wheel for tire changing. Left helpers and support. Includes mount demount helpers, slide, cylinder, and valve for operation. Lube bucket and swab. Dispenser for rubber lubricant. Mount demount head. Mounts and demounts tire from wheel. Available in steel or nylon. Slide adjustment handle. Adjust horizontal vertical slide assembly for proper horizontal and vertical positioning of mount demount head. Slide locking valve. Locks and unlocks horizontal vertical slide and sets correct vertical horizontal position to maintain mount demount head to wheel clearance. Bead lifting tool. Used to lift and position tire bead correctly on mount demount head. Bead loosener shoe. Pivoting shoe for loosening tire beads. Bead loosener pedal. Controls operation of bead loosener shoe. Right helpers and support. Includes mount, demount roller and disc, slides, cylinder and valve for operation. Bead sealing nozzles. 
expands the tire sidewall with air to the bead seat area of rim and thereby seals the tire to the rim and allows inflation. Horizontal and vertical slides allows correct positioning of mount demount head. Release valve allows the manual release of air without removal of the air chuck from the tire. So let's begin by showing you the proper procedures for changing tires using a 9024 tire changer. Always wear eye protection when working around the tire changer. Be sure you understand all safety precautions found in the operator's manual and shown on the machine. Always keep the manual available and easily accessible for reference. Caution. This tire changer may operate differently from tire changers you have previously operated. Practice with a regular steel wheel and tire combination to familiarize yourself with this tire changer's operation and function. Begin by removing the valve core to completely deflate the tire. Use the time it takes for the air to escape to remove all of the balancing weights from the wheel and to check the tire changer to be sure it is in good working order. Be sure you remember to remove all weights from both sides of the wheel. Weights left on back side of wheel may cause the wheel to be clamped unlevel. This may result in the mount demount head contacting the rim causing scratches. Failure to remove upper weights may result in damage to wheel when weights strike the mount demount head during rotation. Always review any nicks and scratches with the owner of expensive wheel and tire combinations prior to servicing. Since the sliding clamps on the table protrude over the edge in their outward position, move them to their inward position before bead loosening to prevent interference. When positioning the tire in the bead loosener, note that loosening the bead that will be closest to the table last will make clamping between the bead and the rim easier. The side of the wheel with the widest flange should always be closest to the table because the tire should always be removed and installed from the side with the narrowest flange. Be sure the bead loosening shoe is as close as possible to the rim without touching it. Note, some wheels have a low pressure sensor transmitter strapped to the wheel. Others have a sensor mounted directly to the valve stem. This is especially true on run flat tire wheel systems. The strap sensor is positioned directly opposite from the valve stem. To avoid damaging the sensor, always loosen the top bead with the valve stem at the 2 o'clock position first, and then continue to loosen the remaining circumference of the beads as necessary. Actuate the loosener by lightly gripping the handle from one side and pressing the control pedal with your foot. Note that if the shoe does not stay close to the bead and follow the rim, it may be necessary to release the pedal, move the tire toward the shoe and reactuate the loosener. Also note that if an entire bead does not come free, rotate the tire to position the unloosened portion of the bead at the shoe and follow the procedure again. Remove the tire from the bead loosener. Pivot the tire to bring the other bead into position and repeat the bead loosening procedures. Feathering the pedal gives you more control to prevent tire and rim damage and a light grip from one side prevents shock to your hand if the loosener moves suddenly. Generously lubricate both tire beads using tire manufacturer approved rubber lubricant. The importance of using tire lubricant cannot be overemphasized. Its use greatly reduces the chance of damage to the bead or rim and makes tire installation or removal easier, faster, and safer. Always clamp chrome, alloy, and any other special wheels between the bead and the rim, clamps moving inward against outside edge of rim. Steel wheels may be clamped from the inside, clamps moving outward. After thorough tire bead lubrication, check the position of the rim clamps. If necessary, move them to the appropriate clamping position for the type of rim you will be working with. Release and fully retract the vertical slide up and the horizontal slide back and relock both. Tilt the tower back out of the way by depressing the tower tilt pedal. Place the tire and wheel assembly on the table with the narrowest flange up as shown here. Press the clamp control pedal while pushing down slightly on the rim to clamp the assembly to the tabletop. Tilt the tower forward into position. Pull the locking valve button forward to release the slides. The vertical slide will descend. 
pull the slide handle to move the mount demount head into contact with the rim edge. Push the locking valve button to lock the slides into place. As the slides are locked, the mount demount head will move upward approximately one eighth inch and backward approximately one eighth inch from the rim edge. The mount demount head roller should not be in contact with the rim edge and the flat area under the mount demount head should be raised above rim flange. Position the mount demount head near the rim edge as a reference point. Press the table rotation pedal and rotate the wheel one full revolution while watching for any high spots in the rim. If you see any high spots and they are not caused by improper mounting, position the highest one where the mount demount head will be set up. This is critical to prevent jamming the rim into the mount demount head while mounting or demounting a tire. This procedure is also required when removing tires from damaged rims. Check mount demount head positioning. Mount demount head should be positioned with 1 8 to 3 16 clearance between the top of the rim edge and the bottom of the mount demount head and 1 8 to 1 quarter inch clearance between the rim edge and the mount demount head roller. This clearance will be maintained as long as the slide locking valve remains locked. The operator may tilt the tower back out of the way and forward into place again without needing to reposition the mount demount head when changing a like set of wheels. The mount demount head clearance may change with machine use and should be inspected often. Failure to maintain the proper clearance may result in damage to the wheel rim and or tire. Move left hand top helper into position opposite mount demount head and press down on sidewall of tire to help the tire beads slide into the drop center. Move right hand top helper roller into position and press down on the sidewall to help with lift tool insertion. Insert smooth curved end of lift tool over the right end of mount demount head and below the top bead of the tire. Raise the right hand helper roller up and rotate the bead lifting tool down toward the wheel to lift the tire bead up and over the knob portion of the mount demount head. The lift tool may be removed at this time if desired. Depress the tabletop pedal to rotate the wheel clockwise. Leave the left hand helper in position opposite the demount head and allow it to follow the wheel rotation to assist the bead into drop center while demounting. Raise it off the tire as demounting nears completion. Tabletop rotation can be stopped at any time by releasing the pedal and reverse rotation can be accomplished by lifting up on the pedal with your toe. Lift and hold the tire at an angle so that the lower bead is resting in the drop center directly across from the mount demount head. Insert the smooth curved end of the bead lifting tool over the right end of mount demount head and below the lower bead of the tire. Lift the bead up and over the knob of the mount demount head. Leave the bar in place. If the tire is large, wide, or has become stuck on the lower part of the rim, the left hand and right hand lower helper discs may be used to unstick and raise the tire so it's easier to work. Swing the helper discs out of the way to complete demounting. Depress the tabletop pedal to rotate the wheel. The mount demount head will guide the bead up and over the edge of the wheel. Continue rotation until the lower bead is demounted. The helper discs should be removed during rotation. Caution. The bead lifting tool may encounter resistance or come under load at times during the mount and demount procedures. Keep one hand firmly on the tool to avoid possible tool disconnect. Use the reversing feature to back out of jam ups.